Suppose you are conducting interviews with potential employees for your company. Now, if you want to keep a record of their interview date and time, you can do that efficiently in Excel. To do so, you can assign the interview dates next to the names of the candidates. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hathir Basher and today, I will demonstrate how to insert dates in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. We have the data set here. This includes the name of the candidates in column B. I will insert their interview dates in column C. And in column D, I have inserted the short notes to help you follow along with me. Now, in this example, I will show you multiple methods of inserting the dates. To insert the interview date of the first employee, go to cell C5. In this case, I will insert the interview date manually in the month, day, year format. So let me type the interview date. Now hit enter. The interview date is November 16th, 2023. You can see Excel has automatically recognized the date format. This is the default date format. However, you can change the date format. For that reason, you need to go to the home tab, then move to the number section and click on this drop down icon. From this list, go to more number formats and this opens the format cells window. You can also open this format cells window right away from the worksheet by pressing Ctrl plus 1. Now, in the number tab in the category section, you will find date here. And here you can see the available date formats. You can choose any date format according to your choice. In my case, I'll stick with the default date format. Now click on OK to close the format cells window. Next, I'll show you another method of inserting the date. One thing I should mention here that I'll insert the same date that is today's date throughout this tutorial. So, to insert the date for the second candidate, go to cell C6. This time, I'll use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus semicolon to insert today's date. So, press and hold the Ctrl key and press the semicolon key. And you can see today's date has appeared in cell C6. Now, hit enter. Hence, the date is inserted in cell C6. Now, if you want to insert the date as well as the time, you can do that too. For this reason, press and hold the control key and hit the semicolon key. And this returns today's date in cell C7. Now, give a space and press and hold the control key and the shift key and hit the semicolon key. And this returns the current time here. Now hit enter. Hence, you will get the today's date followed by the current time. The first three methods I have applied to insert the dates return static dates. This means this date won't update automatically. To automatically update the date, you can use the today function. So in cell C8, I'll use the today function to insert today's date that will update automatically. So type equal today. The today function returns today's date. Now press tab to autocomplete the today function. Close the parenthesis of the today function and hit enter. And this returns today's date in cell C8. And if you open this worksheet in a different date, then the date returned by the today function will update accordingly. Next, I'll use the date function to insert the date in cell C9. Type equal date. The date function returns date according to your input. Press tab to autocomplete the date function. As the year argument of the date function, type 2023, place a comma. As the month argument, type 11, place a comma. As a day argument, type 16. Now close the parenthesis of the date function and hit enter. Hence, you will get the date in cell C9. You can also use a combination of year, month, day, and today function to insert the arguments of the date function instead of manually inserting them. So in cell C10, type equal, type the date function. As the year argument of the date function, I'll use the year function to extract today's year. So type year. The year function returns the year of a date as a serial number argument of the year function as I will extract today's date. So I'll use the today function. Press tab to autocomplete the today function. 
Now close the parenthesis of the today function. Then close the parenthesis of the year function. Now place a comma. Similarly, to get the month argument of the date function, I will use the month function. So type month. The month function returns the month number from 1 to 12. Here 1 indicates January and 12 indicates December. Now press tab to autocomplete the month function. As the serial number argument of the month function, as I will extract today's month number, so type the today function. Now close the parenthesis of the today function. Then close the parenthesis of the month function. Now place a comma. As the day argument of the date function, type day. The day function returns the serial number of date. As the serial number argument, type the today function. Now close the parenthesis of the today function. Then close the parenthesis of the day function. Finally close the parenthesis of the date function. Now let me briefly explain this formula to you. This formula will return today's date and here I have used the year, month and day function to extract the corresponding year, month and day of today's date. Now hit enter and you can see the formula has returned today's date in cell C10. Now if you want to get the current date as well as the time then you can use the now function to get that. So in cell C11 type equal now the now function returns the current date and time. Now close the parenthesis of the now function and hit enter and this returns the current date and time. In this way you can use the manual and the automatic methods to insert the date. In this example, I will show you how to get the date sequence. In the first case, I will create a sequence of weekdays starting from today's date that is November 16th, 2023. Now to get the sequence of the weekdays, place the cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell B5 and as this plus icon which is the fill handle appears, then drag this handle all the way down to cell B12 to get the weekday sequence and this returns a day sequence with an increment of 1. Here both the weekdays and weekends are included in this list. However, I want to get only the weekdays. To do so, move to the icon of the autofill options and click on this drop down icon and here you will find different available options to fill the selected cells. From the list you will find the fill weekdays option here. So select the option and you can see the list is updated accordingly. Here the consecutive weekdays have appeared except the Saturday and Sunday which are the weekends and the dates are November 18th and 19th. And in this way you will get the weekday sequence only. Next, if you want to get the sequence of dates with an increment of 1 month, then you can use the autofill feature to get that too. So select the cell C5 and drag the fill handle all the way down to cell C12. Next, click on this drop down icon of the autofill options and from the available options, select the option fill months. And you can see the list is updated with an increment of one month. Finally, if you want to get the date sequence with an increment of one year, then you can follow the similar method to do so. So select the cell D5, then drag the fill handle all the way down to cell D12. And after that, click on this drop down icon of the autofill options and from the list, choose the option fill years. Hence, you can see that the years column is updated accordingly with an increment of one year. In this way, you can get the sequence of weekdays, months and years. Consider a scenario where you want to have a meeting with the employees after every two days. Here we have the employee name in column B and in column C I will set the corresponding meeting date. So to set the meeting date with the first employee go to cell C5 and insert today's date that is November 16th 2023. So let me type the date. Now hit enter. So this is the meeting date with the first employee. Now I can manually insert the meeting dates with the rest of the employees. However, to do that efficiently, I can utilize the autofill feature. For that reason, select the cells C5 to C9. Then move to the home tab from the editing section. Click on fill. Here we'll find different fill options. In my case, I'll choose the option series. 
and this opens the series window. In this window, you can set the settings based on which the selected cells will be filled. In the series in field, you can see the option columns is selected, the type is date, and then you can set the date unit. As I want to have the meetings only on the weekdays, so from the options, I'll select the option weekday, and as I want to have the meeting after every two days, so in the step value field, I'll set two. Now click on OK to fill the selected cells with these settings. As expected, you can see the selected cells are filled automatically. In this way, you can use the autofill feature to fill the dates with a certain interval. In this example, I will show you how to insert date depending on the value of adjacent cell. Here we have a data set that includes the name of the items in column B and their delivery status in column C. Now, if the delivery status is yes, that is, the item is delivered, then in the date column, I will insert today's date. To do so, I will use a formula in cell D5, so type equal, I will use the if function, so type if. The if function checks whether a condition is met and returns value based on this condition. As a logical test argument of the if function, I will check whether the value of cell C5 is yes or not. So, select the cell C5, type equal. Then type yes within inverted comma. Now place a comma as the value if true argument of the if function. I will use the now function. So type now. Now close the parenthesis of the now function. The now function returns the current date and time. Now place a comma as the value if false argument. Type a pair of blank inverted comma. Now close the parenthesis of the if function. Now let me briefly explain this formula to you. This formula checks the delivery status and if the status is yes, then this formula will return the current date here in cell D5. Otherwise, it will return a blank value. Now hit enter to apply the formula. And you can see the formula has returned today's date as the delivery status is yes. Now, to apply the formula for the entire data set, let me use the autofill feature. And you can see the formula worked perfectly for the entire data set. In this example, I will show you how to insert date using calendar add-in. Here we have a data set that includes the item names in column B and in column C, I will insert their expired date. You can insert the dates manually. Alternatively, you can insert a calendar by using the add-in feature of Excel and then choose the date from that calendar. Now, to insert the calendar first, go to the File tab. Then, from the Options, select the option Get Add-ins. This opens the office add-ins window. Using this window, you can search for your add-in. So, go to the search bar and in this case, I'll search for calendar. So, type calendar. Now, hit enter and you can see the available calendars here. You can choose any calendar according to your choice. In my case, from the available options, I'll choose the mini calendar and date picker. So, click on add. And this opens the dialog box that contains the terms and conditions. Now click on continue to proceed. Hence, you can see the calendar is added to this worksheet. Let me set the calendar here. Now you can choose a date from this calendar and the selected date will be transferred to the associated cell. For example, if I go to cell C5, then select a date from the calendar, for example, November 14th. Then you can see the date is transferred in cell C5. To insert another date, go to cell C6 and this time, let me select another date from the calendar. Hence, you can see the date in cell C6. Now, if you want to edit a date, for example, edit the date of cell C5, then go to cell C5, remove the current date and select a date from the calendar. And in this way, you can insert dates using the calendar add-in. You can use an Excel function to get random dates within a set period of time. Here we have a data set that includes the vehicle license number. In column B, in column C, there are applicant names. And in column D, I'll insert the collection dates of the license plates. In this case, I'll insert collection dates randomly using the rand between function. So go to cell D5, type equal, type the rand between function. The rand between function returns random numbers from your specified numbers. Press tab to autocomplete the rand between function. As the bottom argument of the rand between function, I'll use the date function, so type the date function. 
as the year number argument of the date function type 2023 place a comma as the month number argument type 12 place a comma as the day number argument type 1 now close the parentheses of the date function now place another comma as the top argument of the rand between function i will use another date function as the year argument of this date function, type 2023, now place a comma. As the month argument of this second date function, type 12, place another comma. As the day argument of the date function, type 15. Now close the parentheses of the date function. Finally, close the parentheses of the rand between function. Now, let me briefly explain this formula to you. This formula will return random date between the dates December 1, 2023 and December 15, 2023. And the date will be generated randomly. One thing I should mention here that whenever I will change any of the cell of this worksheet, the rand between function will return a different value every time. Now hit enter and you can see the formula has random returned a date between our specified range. Now let me use the autofill feature to assign the collection date of all the applicants. And you can see the collection dates are assigned randomly from our defined range of dates. And in this way you can insert random dates. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for inserting dates in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs, or you can share your Excel-related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.